Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mustach, for the introduction. And good evening for all the participants today. Before I start my presentations today, I would like to thank you, uh, Switch Asia, the United Nations Environment Programme and also Asian Institute of Technologies, on the invitation extended to Penang Green Council to share our efforts and all the green practices that we have come along for the Penang cities uh, in Malaysia. So I will start to share my screen now. Right. So I'll give you a, a little glass uh, demographic and information on Penang. So Penang State is one of the states located in Malaysia that we have uh, 1.98 million or so far and our recycling rate is 46.61 percent which is also the highest uh, recycling rate among all the states in Malaysia and of course Penang is also a highly um, urbanized city on that. So I will start to sharing by Penang City's good experience what we have done for the past few years and also I will share on uh, what is our planning and way forward for the Penang Cities in Green Initiative and also, I will share on what do we do, especially during uh, this pandemic, COVID-19, and what are the efforts that uh, we have done in the Green Initiative. By starting through, Penang State has officially launched the waste segregation at source policy start from the year of 2016. So basically now we have separate into two streams, which is recyclable and general waste. So in future, we are planning to separate it into more categories on that. So of course, the objective to have this waste segregation as source policies is to increase the recycling rate. And the most important is to reduce our waste that generated to the landfill. Because in Penang, we have only one and the only landfill which is located in uh, Seberang Prai, Selatan. Following back, uh, Penang State is very proudly to say that Penang State is also the first state that in introduced uh, the no free plastic bag campaign and also the ban of on polystyrene the usage of polystyrene packaging in Penang start from back years 10 years ago so officially in 2009 Penang state has banned for polystyrene packaging and no free plastic bags so on that time when we want to purchase a plastic bag we are the all the customers are required to pay so it will be cost the 20 cent uh, per single uh, per plastic bag. So this is a little bit of journey of our no free plastic bag day campaign. So start from uh, everyday no free plastic bags and then we the next state government has taken a bigger leap uh, start from next year, which is we have expanded, we have say officially no plastic bag every Monday and Wednesday and it is compulsory will be starting next year, January. And also increase of the charging that one ringgit will be charged for Thursday until Sunday. So for no single-use plastic, basically we have go for phases. So plastic bags, we have a ready model on that. Followed by, we are, we are introducing the no plastic straw campaign. So basically in Penang State, now all the food and beverages premises uh, will no longer be permitted to provide the plastic straw. So it means that when we go to uh, visit to our Penang uh, restaurants or uh, food outlets, it won't have uh, accessible to the straw unless, but you need to request from the, uh, from the store, then you will be given a plastic straw for that. Okay. By looking into the circular economy, uh, economy initiative by the cities, Penang State realized that because we have only one landfill uh, for our waste disposal, so it is very crucial for the state to look into how to use incorporate circular economy concept in our waste management roadmap. So we want to focus on circular economy because it is the best approach to eliminate our waste and also the continued use of our resources if compared to conventional methods of take, make and dispose. This is uh, the first circular economy roadmap that introduced and launched by our local uh, government. So it would consist of eight key areas apart from different categories of the waste. We are also we are also focused on renewable energy and, and energy efficiency. And so, of course, water and wastewater management. 
So this is the circular economy roadmap target from our local council. Basically consists of we, we wish to achieve recycling rate up to 80% by the year of 2030 and also the food waste conversion on 90% and elimination of single-use plastic and most, in most of our restaurants and all that. And renewable energies, we wish to achieve at least 30% in Penang State. And of course, we will look into waste energy and how to achieve a zero-waste city. As part of circular economy project that focus on single-use plastic, under the initiative of Penang Green Council, we have a program we name it as Sea Circular Project that is collaborating together with the United Nations Environment Program and also COP C, and together with our Ministry of Water and Environment. This is a project that focuses on how to solve our plastic pollutions and to avoid for marine litter. So we have come up with two pilot projects for this particular Sea Circular Project that we will educate the local community how to segregate the correct categories of the plastic and we hope to change their behaviour and consumption patterns that reduce the usage or consumption of single-use plastic. We will, um, plastic mini cures will be introduced uh, for this project as well because we would like to educate that if you have single-use plastic, let's say our bottles, our plastic bottles, you not necessarily have to throw it away. Then you have you can make this plastic more valuable by making it into another upcycle product. Followed by, we have another uh, EU project, a circular cities project that we is funded by European Commissions. It's a city to city pairing concept that we we have the opportunity to learn from the EU countries and other countries that the great uh, green initiative and also the research and innovations and knowledge transfer of their best practices. So it is also very crucial and serve as a basis data for us to create a circular economy roadmap in Penang. So but as well, by moving forward, Penang State Government is currently crafting our Penang Waste Management Roadmap. Waste management roadmap is consists of six objectives of our Penang waste management that we are going to focus on. Of course, the main the main attention that we are going to introduce in this Penang waste management is to how to reduce the total waste generations. And secondly, we have to achieve the waste related targets like in, in promoting circular economies, how to do the four Rs, and how to make uh, the sustainable production and consumption. And interesting is to, we wish to create a waste industry policies, which we will have a system developed in order to do the business match making by using your trash to treasure is our treasure concept in developing it. So it will indirectly will energize the job creation and also the economic growth in Penang cities. Followed by, we, of course, we will stimulate the R&D solutions uh, in Penang and also to create a platform how to facilitate the achievement of all the major policies together with our stakeholders and finally we will also have to identify the innovative financing model for the waste sector. So in terms we understand that since the pandemic of uh, COVID-19 we everyone have to suit ourselves into this new normal life so a lot of uh, trainings workshops has been done virtually so the United States government is also recognized the role, the importance of the digital technologies for our to, in order to create a circular cities. So the current issues that face in Penang State will be yes, the pandemic COVID nineteen issues, and also by through our survey, the numbers of our businesses, especially our SMEs in Penang, who is currently incorporating digitalizations in their operations, is still remaining quite low at the May of 37.9. So at the present day, as this pandemic crisis pushes all the countries around so to move into digitalization, so there were no exclusion for Malaysia or Penang State to, to suit ourselves into this new normal lifestyle. So by laying the groundwork for a digital technologies in order to power the circular economy, our Chief Minister uh, of Penang State has launched a written vision of Penang State. 
that with the team of a family focus, green and smart state that inspires the nation. It is comprises of four main teams that focuses on livability, economy, people, and built environment. So these strategic initiatives under the economy and built environment teams have all the aspects that touch upon the need for digitalization. As well, under Penang, Green Council has, has been tasked for a bigger role because we have managed to develop a Penang Green Agenda, which is in order to achieve the overarching goals in our, the Penang 2030 goals. So Penang Green Agenda is a framework that helps the state to set out the strategies to address our Penang environmental challenge. So it is also to help our Penang state government to achieve our UN Sustainable Development Goals, and also to instill a forward-looking and participatory approach on all uh, the decision-making for all levels of the government. So in this Penang Green Agenda, it consists of 10 different areas that we were looking forward. So green economy is part of that. And the aim of Penang Green Economy should be threefold. So by putting Penang on a new growth trajectory that is more prosperous and sustainable, so in order to improve our environmental sustainability and also to increase the standard of living of Penang Nights. So these are the six main uh, focus in our green economy uh, shop. So for digital transformation portfolio, this is a new uh, portfolio that launched by our Penang State Government this year to focus on digital transformation. So it is also to enhance the momentum under the Industry Revolution 4.0. So to, it is, this portfolio is focused to increase the competitiveness on the existing technological platforms and also to prepare, to get the next state to prepare us into the industrial revolutions. So as well for Penang manufacturing sectors to move up the value chain, Penang State realized that we need to adopt the digital technologies, especially by our domestic firm and also to investing in R&D areas. So here comes now Penang State is focusing on drafting a Penang Digital Transformation Master Plan. Another apps, interesting app that developed by Penang Green Council for the Waste Management this is, uh, we call it as Trash to Treasure mobile apps and incorporate into our zero waste network. It is a database that acts as a tool for our people to locate the nearest recycling center or, and, or the buyback center. So it is also an app that you can trade in your pre-loved items. It will consist of mini game. The mini game will help you to understand how to segregate the different, what waste can be can be recycled and what ways cannot be recycled. So it is quite a fun uh, app that we have introduced uh, lately. So here comes the information on how Penang state government respond during our movement control order means that our lockdown and especially in green initiative. So we have done a public survey on uh, movement during the movement control orders. So we would like to understand the behavior and consumption patterns of our Penang Knights when during uh, this pandemic areas. Is this creating more waste or less waste? And eventually we found out that a lot of uh, public or a lot of Penang Knights has actually ordered a lot of online food. So they will grab their food by using online grab foods, whatever. So in order to reduce the plastic packaging, so Penang Green Council has also taken up the initiative to introduce the paper containers. Basically, we have provided the paper containers for all the hawkers and restaurants during the pandemic time in order to reduce the usage of plastic uh, packaging. Of course, we are uh, during the pandemic and movement control lockdown areas, we understand that a lot of people stay at home. Uh, uh, but when you're staying at home, you still can practice those green practices. So we have come up with this Greenies at Home Challenge. It's a competition that uh, how to teach you, like if you have a lot of single-use plastic, uh, that you have some bottles and all that, how can you make it into upcycles product? So next, uh, for, during this pandemic, we understand that one of the biggest 
uh, issues and problems that we are facing will be the face masks, the big consumption of face masks, and also our glove. So we have come out a series of mask educations with all the online uh, publicities, and also we have an animation uh, videos that come up in four different languages to educate our people how to discard your mask and how to how to be how to dispose your mask correctly and responsibly. Order for that, in terms of that, we have come up with our in-house sustainable face mask. This is made by cloth and reusable mask, consists of adults and kids. One of the biggest things uh, to highlight is our reusable mask. We are actually hiring uh, the single mothers and uh, the housewife to help us to produce for that, help us to sew uh, for that. So this will indirectly will help them to generate some income for their life, uh, for their living. So of course, we will have some communities, message, videos, and all that. This is uh, videos that we produce in the local dialect way. So because uh, we, the United States government believe that we have to speak our community, speak their language in order for them to buy in our ideas and buy in our mindset. So of course, and by looking at uh, this pandemic and other things, and we have used a lot of digital tools, especially on laptops, the high demand on computers. So we have launched a program that we encourage all the industries or factories to donate their laptop, their used laptop or computers that is uh, still in good conditions, but they are waiting for to dispose, let's say, to donate to state government. So we will have our vendors to refurbish it and then to send it to and donate it to our underprivileged students that to ensure that every student in Penang will get the ability and get the chance to, to learn online. So this is uh, what I have for today. And uh, Penang State Government basically is always holding the four pillars concept, so which is consists of economy, environment, institutions and stakeholders. So it's basically to translate into the economy must protect the environment. And with the effort of collaborations with our institutions, and of course, all of this effort has to benefit to our stakeholders, to our people. So we understand that citizen participation is very crucial and vital to ensure that the sustainability of our project and also in environmental protections. So thank you very much.